Hello, uh, another exciting review this time of a washing machine. It's an LG V7, the nine kilogram. It's very big, nine kilogram. What's the standard, six or seven kilograms? This is big. Uh, it doesn't look that big just from this room because the room's not that big, but it goes deep. It goes real deep and uh, you can fit a lot in there, a lot in there. So this is how it looks. Very nice looking actually, I must admit. And these are all your cycles you got. Loads of different options. I've, I've hardly used any of them to be honest. So many options. I mainly use Turbo Wash 59, which just does a 59 minute cycle, which is ideal. Um, but you stand with cotton, select that, and here are your options for it. So you just press this to uh, change the temperature if it works. Yeah. And then the spin time. Steam, if you want to steam it, I guess. Oh, you can't do steam on normal cotton, I don't think. Rin wrinkle care, whatever that does. Pre-wash, delay end, which is like a timer, standard, and then add item, press that if you want to stop it midway through to add a sock you've found on the floor or something like that. This is AI, it has artificial intelligence, apparently. Um, basically, I think all it has, it, all it has is um, a scale, so it weighs how much is in there, so it can tell how full the load is, and then just add more time if there's, if there's a lot in there, or shorten the time if there's not much. Cotton Plus is the one I think where you can have the steam. The buttons work. Um, fancy, quite fancy. This is what happens when you turn it off. Makes a nice sound. That's what it does when you turn it on. Wi-Fi enabled. So uh, you can see the option there, Wi-Fi enabled. I, should, I need to connect it actually, so I'll, so I'll do that shortly. Uh, with the Wi-Fi, it can send a text. Uh, so I send a push notification to your phone to tell you when the when the load is finished. So a little bit handy, not that handy. You can start it from your phone, but before you can, you've got to come here, turn it on, set up, set it all up, ready to go, and then you can start it from your phone. You, you can't turn it on from your phone. Bit of a pain. Standard. It's for your detergent and your softener, etc. Right, let's connect it to the Wi-Fi. All right, what do we need to do to connect it to the Wi-Fi? Um, Wi-Fi button here, press it down for three seconds, I think. So now that Wi-Fi icon is flashing. So that must be it. Let's have a look on my phone. All right, so here's the app. Uh, here's the fridge that's already on there, so we want to add something, add a laundry product, front loading. Yes, there's a dial. Yes, there's an LED time display. Connecting. I've done this already. So let's hit next and hopefully it will search it and find it. Product found, connecting to the product. Let's see if this works. So it's connected, checking the network. Network checked, connecting to the server, almost done. It's taking longer than I thought it should. I was in Alexa, I don't actually use uh, Alexa. Uh, yeah, it's all Google Assistant here, so let's skip that. Connected, name it, call it washer. There it is. So what can you do in here? So you can choose your cycle. The remote start is off. Changing the cycle in the app will not change the cycle on the washer. Okay. So I need to enable remote start then, do I? How do I do that? Remote start must be turned on from the product. Press and hold remote start for three seconds. Right, so there's a remote start button. So press and hold that for three seconds and then you can start it remotely from your phone. So good if you want to start it and then go out um, and then turn it on. Although, why wouldn't you just use a timer? Uh, bit pointless, really, let's be honest. What else can you do? Download a cycle. See, these are all the cycles they didn't have. I mean... Do they really need all these? Do they actually do much difference? I doubt it. 
but let's see what happens. Quick tub clean download. Well, that's done it, so that's good. So now what you do is, I suppose, on here, you see it's selected the download cycle. So then if you run it on that, it'll do whichever one I've selected, which was a quick tub clean, which according to this is just a cold, quick 18 minutes on 400 spin. That's quite handy, I suppose. What else can the app do? Washer. Oh, that's it. Tub clean coach. So, uh, oh, energy monitoring. Number of cycles. Uh, looks like it's only going to do it since you added the app. So nothing there. Smart diagnos diagnosis. Everything fine, that's good. Yeah, it just gives some general tips and maintenance as well. Should probably read that at some point. Let's say no. Anything else? Settings. Mm. At the location. That's about it really, let's see if we can turn it off from here. Won't be able to turn the washer back on remotely. So yeah, that's... So that's turned it off, but now I can't turn it on. So if I am out, um, I'm stuck. So that's about it really. Not very exciting, but there you go. If you see here, when you select a cycle, you don't know how long it will take. That's because you need to put in your clothes, press go, and then it starts, it does its AI thing where it tries to work out how long it should take. There must be some, there are certain ones that do regard that like Speed 14, Sportswear is set, our wall set. So a lot of them are set actually, it's just the ones that use AI that aren't. But on the end, I'm very happy with this. If you've got any questions, let me know.